You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for the Royal Rumble. Yes, the Royal Rumble. Well, the pay-per-view, not just the Royal Rumble match, because there's two of them. There Uh, are. They let the women do it this time. They also let the women do it last year, too. Yeah, it's true. Um, but it, it's a little a little less significant this year than it was last year. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Um, so. So. Which one, or uh, is one of them going to main event the pay-per-view? Probably. Which one? <laughs> which one do you think will main event the pay-per-view? Um, I think the men's. Think the men's will? Yeah. You think that... After the Universal title match and after the WWE title match, I, I get what you're gonna saying. Be, you're pro- there's going to be a winner of the Royal Rumble that's going to yeah, make, I guess that's true. make the pay per view. Mm. Maybe it will, will be the women's again. I think that neither of them will. No? I think that they'll open with the women's match. Mm-hmm. And I think that. Um, that the men's match is just going to happen in the middle and the main event will be Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. Well, there goes my theory out the window if that's well, the case. Really? Yeah. Well, just because I think it doesn't mean it's, it's true. It's true. So your theory could be... No, yep. Yeah, but, but we'll get to it when we get to it. Yeah. But I think that the winner of the men's ma- Royal Rumble is irrelevant to who faces um, the winner of the Universal title match, because I still think it's going to be someone from Raw. Yeah. I think that either, either outcome is a good match no matter what it's true so i don't think that they're gonna really it's not gonna be up in the air Mm -hmm. so it it makes little sense and they just like having brock main event pay-per-views so i've seen that but he's actually there yeah so that's that's my thought um but it really doesn't matter no it doesn't it also doesn't really matter who wins the women's royal rumble because I don't really think that Sa- uh, Sasha is gonna win the title. Problem. So there's, there's a chance. She, but you know, she has probably she has the best chance of anyone so far. Yeah. Um. But I think that if Ronda was gonna lose the title, it would make more sense for her to have lost it before the Rumble, so that they could have her win. I don't Rumble. know. It, it's gonna be interesting because there's a lot of uh, things that could lead to WrestleMania matchups, and there's a lot of different variations of matchups we could have at WrestleMania. It's true. There's All a right. lot of speculation, but we don't know anything for it's sure. True. Um, we'll start with the two confirmed pre-show matches. Yeah. Uh, Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the U.S. title. I'm going to go with Rusev. That would make sense. There's, we spoke that Shinsuke has been on TV very little with his U.S. title reign. Yeah. There's no reason to put the title back on him. Mm-hmm. It's true. Um, and... You know, if they're gonna get, if they ever give Rusev TV time, he's gonna be over with the U.S. title, which yep. would put over the U.S. title. Yeah. So but maybe WWE does want that. Which is funny because they're <laughs> they've been showcasing two uh, like matches that have nothing to do with a title over the titles. Because mm. good point. Yeah, because Mysterio versus Andrade for the last three weeks yeah. has been a big focus. Um, and then even Mustafa Ali and Joe, Joe have yeah. been more of a focus than the U.S. title has. But it's true. Whatever. Um, and then we got the uh, Fatal 4-Away for the Cruiserweight Championship. Mm-hmm. Buddy Murphy versus Akira Tozawa versus Hideo Tommy versus Kalisto. Oh. I thought Cedric Alexander yeah. was in the match. Apparently, I was wrong. Nope, it's um, Akira. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of hard because, well, we haven't been following 205 Live. It's true. And I really don't think that any of these guys are posed poised for a, a push, mm-hmm. except for Buddy Murphy, obviously. Yeah, so it kind of seems like a safe bet to assume he's going to retain. Yeah, I'm going to go with an outside choice. Uh huh. Pick Hideo. I was thinking that's what you're going to pick because uh, I think Daniel, they were they were they were hyping up a little bit. I saw I think on Twitter and mm-hmm. even Daniel Bryan had faced him and was hyping up how good he is and uh-huh. stuff like that. So I think that could be the other a possibility there. Kalisto's too busy with Lucha House Party. Yeah, I was going to say, he's actually <clears throat> doing something right yeah. now, so it really doesn't make any sense for him to have the Cruiserweight Championship. It's true. Um, but yeah, I was thinking if Atami went, uh, I would think that Atami is more likely to be the next Cruiserweight to actually make mm-hmm. the main roster as opposed to having him yeah. move forward with the yeah. title. 
He hasn't injured anybody lately, right? Not that I know of. Because yeah. so. that was a big thing, right? Didn't he injure a couple people in NXT? Or he was the one that got injured, too. I thought he hurt somebody with the go to sleep. I think so. Yeah. Was it one of the Revival? Yeah, there you go. No. No, uh, no maybe not. No, I know no, Shinsuke. Shinsuke hurt one of the Revival. Yeah, that's what it oh. was. No. Who did Ares? Ares got hit by Shinsuke, wasn't it? No, nah, maybe Atami was the one who hurt Ares. <laughs> and then Atami got hurt. No, I don't think so. It doesn't matter. It, yeah, yeah. It it's irrelevant. But it is. I know that... Oh, no, he broke Kendrick's face. Oh, yeah, With yeah, the yeah. go to sleep. That's, that's, that's what right. it was. Yes, it was. Kendrick, it was on 205 Live. Yes. I thought it was an NXT. No, it was yes, on 205 right. Live. I remember now. You are right. All right. So, uh, but yeah, uh, Buddy Murphy, I'm mm-hmm. going for You're going for a Hideo Tani. Yep. Um, it's funny just the the difference if, when you go from the pre-show to the main show. Like, outside of the SmackDown tag title match, mm-hmm. every other match is a pretty big match. That's true. Mm-hmm. So I guess we'll start with the SmackDown tag title match. Yeah, it would make sense. The Raw tag team titles are not on here at all, by the way, in case anyone was curious. I know. You get a title match every week in the Revival faces. It's it's true. (laughs) That is true. Um, But yeah, it's The Bar versus The Miz and Shane McMahon. Oh, yeah. Uh, There's no way The Miz and Shane McMahon don't win this match. Nope, they're going over. And then eventually they're going to split. No, well, because... match at WrestleMania. What's going to happen is... Well, it's just because I want what I want. That's it. But yeah, the Miz and Shane are going to win here. They're going to lose at uh, Elimination Chamber, and probably the to the bar. And then that's when they have the build to the WrestleMania match, like you said. Mm-hmm. Um, then we'll do, what do you think? Asuka versus Becky? Yeah, we'll do all the matches and then the two Royal Rumble matches. The yeah, title well, matches. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't think we were going in yeah, yeah. order. I was yeah, just yeah, picking yeah. the next match. Uh, Asuka versus Becky. Um, I think Oscar retains somehow, possibly by Ronda interfering. Yeah. Um, or Charlotte interfering. Either way, I don't see why Charlotte would. But no. Because I, I don't think she's really been against Becky more yeah. for herself. Well, yeah, I, I get where you're going with your logic here, mm-hmm. thinking that there's a chance that Becky could enter the Rumble. Rumble. Yeah. Um. Which would make sense for this to go on earlier. Mm -hmm. I mean, this could go on before the Rumble, and she could still, you know, it it not main event. Oh, yeah, I guess theoretically speaking, this this is like the only match that should happen before the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I guess. Before a Rumble. Yeah, I guess that's true. The only consequential one. Yeah. Because I don't see AJ or Daniel Bryan entering the Royal Rumble if they lose, nor do I see Sasha entering. Yeah, yeah, no, Becky is the one that, yeah. Is going to if she, Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, that that would make the most sense. Yep. That even this could open the show. Um, it could. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be a bad move Mm-mm. because you want to start with a I, strong match. I don't see them putting a Ronda match to open the show. No, but, no, no, but, no, no. Yeah, Mm-mm, no. Um, that will that it will probably end up being. Um, hmm, that's weird. Maybe it'll, honestly, it could be the WWE title match. They've done it before. What opening the show? Yeah, I think they did. Did oh. they open the Rumble last year with uh, Kevin Owens, Sami yeah. Zayn versus AJ? No, 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 no. That's not what I was thinking. I was oh, thinking oh. when they're going to put the Ronda match. Oh, oh no, oh, I, oh. I think that it's a pretty good chance that Becky versus Asuka could open the show. Yeah, I think it's the best choice. That's true. Um, but uh, so I, you're why, picking why Asuka to retain. Why do I feel like there was a reason why the WWE Championship opened the pay per view last year? I don't, know. I don't think there was. No, but I just feel like there yeah. was. Anyway, so you're saying I think Oscar's Oscar gonna retain. retain. Yeah, but then what does that give her for WrestleMania? Unless they do the rematch with Charlotte. Well, WrestleMania. Right, well, yeah, that would make sense. Or just have um, have they could have somebody come up. Yeah. and face her. Like, yeah, I, I think Oscar's the safe choice. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also no reason to believe that Becky or Charlotte are going to win the Royal Rumble. It's true. It could be a, a like a yeah, I guess a swerve, so to speak. Yep. And they just challenge Ronda or something yeah. like there's that. There's no reason yeah. why they can't. It's do true. That. It's true. Um, so but that's why it makes everything so interesting. Because yeah, because literally anything, anything can happen. Because Oscar can face any number of the people on the roster. Yeah. Um, they could have Ember Moon win the Royal Rumble and have her face Oscar. Because they had that, um, yep. the, their feud in NXT. Yep. 
they could have. All right, how about we speculate at the Rumbles when we get to the Rumbles? Yeah, that's true. I was I forgot that we weren't on there yet. Nope. Uh, um. Anyway, uh, I still think Oscar will win. What did, did you yeah, say? Yeah, Oscar. I, I'll agree? agree with Oscar. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Daniel Ryan versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. Um, they're they're not gonna take the belt off Daniel. Daniel Bryan, Bryan will retain. Yeah, AJ is um, gonna end up facing like Randy Orton or something. Probably. Nah. Uh, I, I don't think they'll do that. I don't Age, they'll, they'll probably have um yeah i got nothing yeah, yeah there's really nothing that aj is gonna do because he's been so on a title mm-hmm. so unless they have him like face for set for right. the u.s title or something yeah. like that it's kind of hard to. i mean you could do something with, you know vince says now that you've had so many opportunities you have to go down to the bottom of the ladder and work your way back up or something like that and that's the story through for AJ through to Rumble where he faces somebody. I don't know. I'm just That's possible. throwing shit at the Who knows? Wall. Doing what they do. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Daniel Bryan's going to win mm-hmm. there. Hold uh, his title. Ronda Rousey versus Sasha Banks. Um, I think Ronda's going to retain just based off of logic. <laughs> yeah. There's really no reason to have Sasha win. No, I mean, I'd be perfectly fine with that, and that would really... No, I have no problem with that. I just don't think it's going to happen. It's probably not. Yeah, Ronda does make the most sense to hold on to that title, especially when you have either Becky or Charlotte probably going to be in a match with her at Mania. Yeah. The only reason why it would make sense for Sasha to win is based off of the idea of them not wanting to put a title on the line in an inter- war. To have Sasha versus Bailey at WrestleMania. That'd be fine. <laughs> no, I know, but we've been joking about them yeah. finally doing something. Yeah. No, because they could have Bailey win the Rumble. She's in it. Yeah. And you know, it would be it would be a out of left field mm. um I guess winner. And it would be something that the fans would at least be interested in. It's true. Um it'd be cool if they have that match with them as the women's tag team champions. That'd be an interesting yeah. way to do it. Um but yeah, I I, I still think that Ronda's going to win. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we got Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. Uh, as you said in our, I believe, in our uh, weekly show, mm-hmm. that Finn said in an interview that he yes. was going to not bring the demon to the Royal that's, Rumble. That's what the rumor was. So that's like a guarantee loss yep. for him. And the, you had mentioned that the reason that they didn't want Strowman to face Lesnar again is because he would lose again. Mm-hmm. So having Finn take his spot, even it gives Finn the rub of being a main eventer. Yes, but at the and same time, he is still losing. Yes. Um, so, yeah, Brock is going to win and Brock's go on to gonna WrestleMania. Win. Yep. All right, so what do you want to start off with, the men's or the women's rumble? I'll start with the men's. Men's? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to pick one person who we predict to win. Oh, we're doing the same thing as we did last time? Yeah. Okay. One person that we're on the fence about. They might have a shot. It's a long shot. And then, you know, the uh, out of left field pick. Okay. So, all right. I, I don't know if you want to go first, because I really don't know who I want to win the Rumble. Obviously, it's between the two people that you probably think mm-hmm. it's going to be. Yeah. So, all right. You pick your um, one, so and who, I'll pick the opposite. Okay. So, who I want to win the Royal Rumble is Drew McIntyre. Mm-hmm. Who I think will win the Royal Rumble is... Um, Seth Rollins, and who my left field choice is John Cena. I would like to see John Cena. his ankle injury. I would like to see John Cena. Which is a work because he was filming. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I would imagine, or I would would like to say that John Cena versus Brock Lesnar or John Cena versus Daniel Bryan would be both, at the very least, good WrestleMania matches. There has been rumblings about that. Mm Mm-hmm. So, so. I, well, I think that as soon as Cena entered the Rumble, that mm-hmm. was a thought that entered everybody's mind. Right. Um, but yeah, those are my three. Yep. All right. So I am picking Drew to mm-hmm. win the Rumble. Okay. My not so positive, kind of on the fence about Mustafa Ali. He picks it up, and they go full force with this Daniel Bryan. You have the re- roles reversed with him being the super baby face, getting held down and whatnot. I like the idea. And then the crazy one hmm. is you have Finn Balor win. He can't beat him as the man, so oh, that's... he wins, and then he says the demon's coming for the that, beast. That is a fantastic idea. And I you just have him don't... turn heel. That's fine. You beat I, up, he beats up R-Truth for that number 30 spot. That's fine. I got no comes problem Comes in that. and does his thing. Yeah. 
Um, is it going to happen? No, no way in hell. Probably not. But, no. but it, it's I a like good idea. idea. That was, Well, you remember who my out of left field pick was from yes, last year. That's true. Jeff Hardy. Mm-hmm. So anything could happen. It's true. So, All right. He's On not to- listed in the Rumble, though. But no. that could change. Yeah. Like you said, beats up our truth, takes a spot. Mm-hmm. All right. So okay. now we have the women's Royal Rumble. Yes. I guess um, I'll go first since you went first for the men's. Sure. All right. So I'm going to go with the obvious choice mm-hmm. of Charlotte. It's the winner. Mm-hmm. The on the fence pick, Ember. Because, like you said, you could have her challenge Asuka. Mm-hmm. It would make sense. And the out of left field pick, I'm going to go with Mandy. Because it's crazy, but I think she's going to win the Money in the Bank this year. Would make sense. I think that's really I, where they're going to... You think she's gearing up for a, uh, a push? Yeah. It's fair. Um, I'm going to go with... Not many choices. It's true. I. You know what? Okay. Because uh, we already talked about it. I'm going to go with... Um, I would like... I'd like Becky to win. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Charlotte will win, and my left field one is going to actually be Bailey, okay. and have her and Sasha. Yeah, at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, there's so many choices, and that's what makes this yeah. year's Rumble very, uh, very interesting. I see an awful lot of names here that aren't going to win, though. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Got the Riot Squad, Zelina Vega. But honestly, I mean, obviously, I don't think Mandy's going to win. She's probably going to get thrown out by Naomi, and that's going to be uh, mm-hmm. the big spot there. Yeah, that'd be my guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that you know, it, it's going to be fun either way. So it yeah. really doesn't matter. Who no, wins. it's the Rumble's my favorite event of the year. Yeah. Um, so I, I remember it was funny on I think it was Saturday. WWE had posted that they were going to reveal the entrance for the Women's Rumble, mm-hmm. and people are up in arms about it because they thought they were going to release the Entire. the number they were coming oh, out they, in and things like thought. that. People were all blocking Why WWE. Why would they do I, that? I don't know. That doesn't make But they sense. just announced all the people that didn't have title matches, what we knew yeah, were going they to just, be in the they Rumble. They just announced a handful of people. That was yep, it. That was it. Yeah, it yeah. was just funny. And the only one, and honestly, I think they should have saved this, to be perfectly honest, with Alexa Bliss. Oh, yeah. They should have had her enter. It, it's funny because I saw, I think it was Ryan Satin and Dave Meltzer going back and forth about this on it, and Dave's argument was the fact that you know, Alexis, a draw. So I guess, I mean, that, I don't know. that was it. I, but yeah, no, I agree. I think that would have been a bigger surprise at the rumble <laughs> to have her come out because if she came out like at the end, like 29 mm-hmm. or something like that, that'd be good. Yeah. Or sure. if she came out number one, there you go. Came out number one, cut, cut the promo that she did on raw. Mm-hmm. It would be. Fun. Yeah. Um, they'll probably, I don't know. I feel like, They'll probably have Charlotte come out early. She'll do like Sasha lasted what almost the whole rumble. Yeah, last Sasha, year. Sasha and Bailey, I think lasted a large portion. Yeah, of last I know year's Sasha rumble. really did, but I feel it's it would make sense for Charlotte yeah. to do the Iron Woman thing mm-hmm. if they're gonna have someone do it. Um, especially with the way that she's been talking. Yeah, about how she's the best, and you know, Ric Flair did do it too. So I'm sure they'll love to draw those comparisons. That's true. So yeah, that's fair. But so yeah, she can come out early, maybe number two, number one. Should be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Should be fun. I, and I'm again, forward. Becky could attack Carmella in number thirty spot. It, mm-hmm. would, it would make sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah. So that was our WWE Royal Rumble 2019 preview and predictions video. Yeah. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.